Morning all. Right, this is one on getting to a job early, which I've had in my book for a little while, but um, strangely enough, I've been on this job quite early and sort of, there are advantages and there are disadvantages to getting to a job early. Uh, firstly, when you're in the Luton van, if it's your first job of the day, um, sometimes getting a job early, you can get a jump on it. Say, for example, the booking time is booked for quarter past six, as it used to be when I run it enough across the road. I would get there at six. Um, because that's what time I knew the place opened. And that way I would be like first, second or third in the queue because there might even be people that got there before me that started queuing up early. But then you would be the second or third bit of paperwork that gets handed in. And then the five vans behind you also hand their paperwork in and they load in order. So you would be loaded third rather than if you'd have got there at quarter past six, you'd have been loaded eighth. And with this particular job... Um, I knew that there was waiting time involved with loading, so it's not like you could ring up and say, look, I've been waiting there for two hours waiting to get loaded. You kind of had to swallow it, you know. Um, other advice you get to a job early, if it's the first one of the day, if there's traffic, you're not going, oh, I've got to ring the ship and say I'm going to be late. If you can't find the place, you can drive around, and you're not panicking so much, thinking, right, I was due here at nine, I'm here at nine, it's nowhere to be seen. You think, well, I got here at half eight, I can't find it, but it's not due here till nine. Fantastic! I'll just I'll just find it. Google Maps. Here we go. Ways. Um, you know, just Google the address. You know, I've got time. And if not, you can ring the ship and say, "Look, I've been here for fifteen minutes trying to find it. Still can't find it. But I'm still early. So could you ring and let me know? Just takes the stress off a little bit. You can have a cup of tea while you're waiting. Also, once you jump into lorries, there are other advantages because we have to work to work time directive and driver's hours. I mean, I got to this job at. 20 past 8, I was due here at 9. I was hoping. Also, you might get loaded early. You might, they might say, oh, I've done that one before, where, you know, I've rocked up at half 8 because the booking time's half 8, and the guy said, oh, we've been here since 7. I think, why didn't you tell me you were there since 7? Oh, I'd have been here at 10 past 7, I'd have let you have a cup of tea, got it on, I'd have been halfway through that first job now, just gets me a jump on the rest of my day. Gives me more chance of making more money with the rest of the day, like, you know. Um, but from my point of view, there are other advantages. If I can get to a job and I'm saying I'm 15 minutes early, I can have a 15 minute break. That means over the next lot of driving time, I've only got to have a 30 minute break to clear it. Uh, actually works out 16 and 31, but we'll come to that. Um, also, I mean, in this one, if you can get there, if you can get half an hour break in in the morning, you can clear your work time directive, which means you'll, you know, you can work for six hours without having to worry about taking another break. Even if you drive 10 minutes down the road and take a half hour break, you can then work the remaining five hours, 50 minutes without having to take any more breaks. So you just, just takes the worry away. Chances are you will be driving, you will take another break, but it takes the worries away. If I get up to 46 minutes, 45 stroke, 46 minutes, as it just has showed up on my phone, I have, I've managed to clear the 38 minutes worth of driving time that I had getting here. So that I now can drive for another four and a half hours, whereas previously I could only drive for around about three and three quarter hours. But this is all to do with lorries. There's just a big advantage. I mean, it's only the first one in the day. So when I go on holiday, I always try and get the first flight out because you've got less chance of being delayed. OK, you're up at four. You've got to be at the airport at six, but um, or you're on the flight at six, like you know, but... As the day goes on, oh, sorry, we, we're waiting for another plane. You know, you, you're more likely to get a delay. Whereas the first one just gets a jump on the whole thing. There are disadvantages, of course. I got this job at 20 past eight. I can't charge in waiting time. I can't ring up at 20 past nine and go, I'm not loaded. You're in the waiting time. Because the waiting time only starts from nine o'clock. So I have basically given them three quarters of a load of waiting time for free. But I'd, I'd still prefer it. Just for the amount of times... I would say more like seven times out of ten. Normally, you can get in early, you can get loaded early, you can get a jump on things. So that's just me. That's the way I like to work. I like to try and start early, get, get start early, get done at a reasonable time, get done by tea time, or get as many jobs in as I possibly can. But I'm sure you guys got different ways of doing it, and I'm sure there'll be some comments on it. In the meantime, I'm waiting for this place to open so I can take care and take money.